Page nine, bagatelle. Bagatelle is like a, a fun dance, usually a three, four time. It's like a waltz, but this is a fun dance. This is a party dance. It's in the key of G major, it's got one sharp. If you haven't been, you really need to be doing my scale videos on these keys. The C major scale and the G major scale. Up and down, one octave. Learn to play them well without looking at the keyboard. Learn the fingering for them. Here, right hand, we'll look at the first four notes in this. You have a G, a D, excuse me, that's a D, it really is. And the second finger's on a G, and then the fourth finger's on a B, and the next measure, the half note, that's a D. All four of those notes, that's a G chord, extended position, and second version. I don't know how much of this you've had, but that's what it is, it's a chord. That's the fingering for that chord. So that's what we want to use, in most cases, in the music. That's why that B uses a fourth finger. That's good. I like that. Do that. Then in the third major, you're coming up a little, you're, you're relaxing a little. And then the next line, same thing. Then the third line, here, you're not in a five finger position. You just got to read the notes. Up second measure, the third line, thumb. You're ending the third line here, and then the last line, scrunch up and put fourth finger on the A. The left hand has these two note chords of four and two. Nice wrist staccato. I'll come back to the staccato in a minute. Let's get the notes. Third measure is here. And then the third line. Now you're down here. Work these out. It's a D, an A, and a C. You're using the wrist to play these. Next measure is a D, a G, and a B. Same fingers. And then next measure is a. a don't forget the F sharp. eventually get to where you can do this without looking at the keyboard. You can feel these distances. You're only moving here to here. You want that you develop that feel so you can you just you can feel it. Now I have the staccato. It's in both hands. Now the left hand is staccato pretty much all the way through except the half notes. But the right hand is staccato all the way through except the right, the half notes. Yeah. It's the same thing, isn't it? Same, just I wrist to count on both hands. Now, some people call this a hand staccato, a wrist staccato, I don't care what you call it. I was taught it was wrist, but if you want to call it a hand, the point is you're flexing at the wrist. The arms stay pretty much still. And you're just, you're on the keys and you're just bouncing off each time. Don't come down on them. That, no. Nah. You're here and you're bouncing off on them. you're down here. And so it's a, this is a fun piece. It's a bagatelle. Hmm. Moderato, again, it's somewhere in the middle. You'll decide what moderato is. is. It could go a little faster than I just played it. Whatever. But it's up to you or your teacher if you have one. And then the dynamics. Starts out medium loud, that's the right hand. Keep the left hand softer then. Second line, now you're loud. That's the right hand that's loud, not the left hand. And the third line, now you're soft. That's the right hand that's soft. The left hand is really soft. Then you crescendo up to about a medium loud. Don't get loud into the last line. So just a, you're soft to start it. You can get up to a medium low. Now you're loud in the last line. And then come back down to sort of a medium soft. Something, or a soft if that's what you want. It's up to you. 
that's basically the piece. So you learn one step at a time. You know, I build these things up one step at a time. You get the right hand going, and you get the left hand going, and you put the hands together, and then maybe you can add in the articulation, the slurring, and the staccatos. Then you can add in the dynamics. Then you can start thinking about how fast it goes. Because by the time you've gone through and added all these things, you've actually practiced it quite a bit, I hope. And you gradually learn it. You want to get it to the point where you're not thinking so much about fingers and notes and all that. You're thinking about the message. Type thing. And that's where you, you're getting into the music. And that's what it's about. If you can get into the music when you play it, People listening to you will get into the music too. It's very contagious. If you're just very mechanical, people listening to it will think, yeah, that sounds nice, but it's not, it's missing something. They may not know what it's missing, but they'll know it's missing something. So get into the music if you can. I'd like to play this with you very slowly, just to check the notes and the rhythms. Not doing dynamics. I will do the staccatos, of course. I'll give us three counts. So the right hand's here. Left hands here to start, and here we go. One, ready, go. Repeat. Repeat.